Hey guys, welcome to the start of a new video series uh, where we take a look at SimCity mod packs. Um, so let, uh, today we're going to take a look at Skypack 3.1. Okay, Skypack 3.1 uh, was released on the 8th of September. Uh, and um, when I'm recording this today, it's the 20th of September. It's coming in late, but uh, I get, I feel like I need to do this sort of series in order to, uh, you know, just inform you guys, get you caught up with everything, and provide you with new videos in general. Okay. So, new in Skypack 3.1, basically, he just added back roads without traffic lights, by level roads, and he added Parker and Tom's vehicles pack, uh, and he added the script for deletion of the old mods and, mods and packs, including 2.0. Now, Skypack is created by Skystorm, who does SimCity videos, such as SimCity Let's Plays, and he reviews SimCity mods. Uh, and he has compiled uh, what he thinks to be the best SimCity mods, and he has compiled them into a pack called Skypack. And a lot of stuff has been added. Uh, there is quite a lot of stuff in... Uh, if we download Skypack and uh, uh, once you download Skypack, you will be able to see everything that is in there, and I will show you that in a second. All right, uh, in Skypack 3.0, which was released on the 6th of September, uh, they put in a new self extracting exe file, and that means that uh, it's basically it runs as a program and it will install all of the mods for you and. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into the installer now, so I'm going to go ahead and download this, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, here we are, guys, at the uh, installer, which runs as an application. Now, this was put together by SUGC. Uh, they have compiled some of the mods for him as well, uh, and, and so that's why you will see their logo here. Now... It is recommended that you close all our applications, blah, 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 blah. We will move on. And it's the license agreement, and it contains actually useful information, such as installation instructions, the change log, compatibility, and disclaimer. So it's not your typical license terms or anything like that where you just don't feel like reading it because, you know, knowing me, I don't read those, but... This is actually something quite useful. Uh, so you would click I agree. And this is where it shows you all of the mods that are in here and you can select which ones you want in here. So if you want, you don't want parklets in there, you can just unselect and it will not install it. But if you want them in, just click the, click the box and it will, uh, it will install parklets. And space required 146.6 MB, uh, MB, yeah. Uh, if you want to put all of these in there. Um, but if you don't want parklets in there, it will tell you how much space is required if you don't want them in there, and if you do. So that's a pretty nifty feature. And for parklets, when you hover over any of these mods, uh, it will tell you who the author is, what version it is, and what, uh, and a small description of what the mod is. So that is quite useful, actually. Then you will quit, click next, and you will select the folder, and you will click install. I'm not going to do that since I don't really want it installed since I already I have my own mods that I keep in there and everything, so I'm not going to. All right, that's it, guys. That was a look at Skypack 3.1. I will do more videos in regards to Skypack when new versions are put out. So be sure to stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you did. If you didn't like the video, leave me some constructive criticism. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. And follow me on Twitter at Captain0202. Alright guys, I will talk to you later.